What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today, I'm unboxing my last sneaker pickup of the century, man. So let's get it. All right, man, I'm back with another video. And before I get too deep into this video, man, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button already, man. And feel free to comment down below throughout this entire video. Today, I just literally picked up my last sneaker of probably the century, man. I'm probably not gonna buy any more sneakers considering how the new year is literally right around the corner. I still owe you guys one more video and that is gonna be my top 10 sneakers of 2019. So stay tuned for that because the kid got that coming soon for sure, for sure. But anyway, I wanna drop another little quick video for you guys. You know, my last couple videos, I haven't really been dropping anything like sneaker related. So I definitely owe you guys some sneaker content. So. Here it is without further ado. Now these sneakers, before I get too deep into it, this is something I should have caught like a long time ago. They first released in like 2017. Then they re-released them this year in 2019. And I believe they had like a little restock, but I missed those as well. So it's not that the kid been asleep. It's just that they, not necessarily not hard to get, but with them having so many releases, that resale value has went down, 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 down for sure. And I know I had said before, like I was not buying any more shoes for resale. However, <laughs> I could not pass up on these guys for sure, man. So enough talking, let's get straight to the kicks. Boom, man, right here, all up in your grill, man. Now, as you may have already noticed, this is a 700. So which ones did I get? I know you guys are very curious. Now these, man, I feel like this is a must have for any sneaker head for sure, man. This is just a quick video, but let's go ahead and just pop the top. Well, slide the box open, you know. So as you already noticed, it's the 700 for sure. So there's some Yeezy. So let's go ahead and get these out of here. And, oh, thought y'all could get that little sneak peek in. Ooh, ooh. And boom, man, all up in your grill. All right, my bad guys, full disclosure, one of my camera lights literally just went out while I was filming. So if it looks a little darker than normal, bear with me. If it looks cool, bear with me as well. Sorry about that, but back to the video because it's just a quickie. So like I was saying, man, boom, right? It's the bottom of these guys right here. The Wave Runner 700, the OG colorways. Boom, man, all up in your grill, right? Okay, let's get this box out of here. Let me put these guys down so we can talk about this shoe. Let's get the box out of here. Let's slide this out of here and boom. Who cares about a box? Anyway, main point of this video right here, man, are these Wave Runners. Now this is the OG colorway, and I'm pretty sure this is the 2019 release, but I did my own little legit checks and all that, and everything checks out, man. And when I first saw these sneakers in like back in 2017, I was like, man, I was not feeling that dad wave at all. But this is one of these sneakers that when you see it on feet, all the shoes that I, all the people that I seen on feet, like the on feet videos, and I seen a few in person, I was like, man, I gotta add this to the collection. So boom, man, the kid finally got these joints to the collection, man. And they're looking pretty nice. These were also dead stock. So these are not even a used pair. I picked these up from Cool Kicks VA. So I was following their Instagram and you know, I just kind of paid attention and just everything checked out about the sneaker, man. And it's got a lot of boost. So this is supposed to be really, truly comfortable. But I've heard that about all Yeezys. And in my opinion, not all Yeezys are one created equally and they're not all comfortable. But that's just my opinion. And hey, who am I, man? But I'm definitely glad to add these to the collections. I don't have nowhere to put these as far as like my sneaker crates back here, my sneaker boxes. Um, What are these called? Drop front shoe cases. My bad, bear with me on that. So. Definitely gonna have to be picking those up pretty soon, man. These joints are laced a little too tight, but that's how Adidas usually come. The one, all the ones I bought, they've been laced a little too tight. So the boy just gotta loosen the laces, man. And honestly, I think these is gonna be great with some nice joggers. Or if I decide to put on some jeans, these will be great, man. I'm just, I'm ecstatic, man. When I saw these hit the thing and Yes, I paid a resale price, but but since these have been released so many times, I didn't get bushed over the head. I paid a little extra, but nothing out the way. Something I'm willing to pay, because I know I normally go hard at the resellers and these crazy resale prices. It's those are the ones that bother me. It's those ones that be super way up there. Now, the ones that, you know, they jump a little high, but just enough to eat. 
I can respect that, but I'm not trying to pay your mortgage. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, <laughs> back to the sneaker, man. I'm not gonna go over the details and all the colorways and read the stuff off the box. Y'all know that's not my detail. I'm not even gonna drop an on feed on these because I'm pretty sure you can just Google these joints and you will find these anywhere, man. So I feel like this is a must have for any sneaker head. And I know they dropped the Mohab colorway in the 700s and I just personally was not feeling it. All the other colorways they dropped for these, this is the only one. All the little other colorways like the Mohab, the kid just wasn't feeling these. These are the only ones I was truly feeling. Again, if it's too dark of lighting, man, y'all bear with me. And if this lighting turns out to be a little bit cooler, I may just leave it at this because I can still see myself and everything's looking kind of good. But anyway, more importantly, man, these are dead stock. Like I said, I didn't get bust over the head and I know I'm not big on the resale price, man. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just get this out of there. You know what I'm saying? I paid a little extra. We got the little price tag on there. If the camera picked that up, oh well, but boom. But anyway, man, I'm gonna go on and get up out of here. Y'all let me know what you think of these wave runners, man. Was this a nice cop for sure? Y'all let me know down in the comment section for sure. And, and y'all stay tuned for my top 10 sneakers of 2019 man it's coming pretty pretty soon man and i hope y'all been feeling the content i'm trying to stay consistent for you all man i'm gonna go on and get up out of here be sure to hit that subscribe button that like button and comment down below man and what y'all think of these guys and what new content would you guys be interested in viewing man but anyway i'm gonna go on and get up out of here my name is jeremy jones hello and i'm out this thing Whoa. man i just woke up from a fat nap <laughs> so i'm gonna make raps in my room <laughs>